Tornado. I see the tornado. Oh yeah, that's it, that's it, that's it. Ten thirty a.m. But we already have supercells down by Sanford. It's starting to look like this might be a big day, as the day before we all remember that was a big tornado outbreak in Nashville. We already have a five percent tornado risk in for Eastern North Carolina today. Although these two counties, Lee and Harnett, were not included in that, and they had a two percent tornado risk for the zero six Z. Now moving on a little bit to around eleven thirty to twelve. This storm now is tornado warned, and it is radar indicated for Harnett and Lee's County. You can tell it is quite broad rotation and they did not extend the warning by the time it got into Wake County. At around 12.15, the storm now has a new tornado warning heading right towards Garner. As you can see the path of this, looks like it's heading straight towards Garner. Tornado warning storm currently in south of us. Somewhere over there, visibility is pretty terrible so we cannot see anything. So this tornado was embedded in the rain, so it was basically impossible to see anything the entire time, but we knew it was on the ground because of this. And then just like that, this storm wraps up, and as you can see, that looks like a tornado signature right there. It is possibly on the ground right now in Garner. Now, there are a couple storm spotters out, so I believe one of them did see this tornado and called it into the National Weather Service, which is why this tornado then was observed, pushing a new notification to everyone's phones, hopefully getting them to a safe place. As you can tell by the reflectivity, this tornado was very embedded in the rain. It is somewhere inside of this area right here. So based on the velocity, I have the right to believe that this touched down three or four minutes in Garner, and then I believe it touched down again right before it crossed Highway 40, and it did not cross Highway 40. This video right here is why I think that it touched down again, or at least was a funnel that got really close to the ground before crossing I-40. Because as you can see right here, you can see that was where I was at the Amazon Warehouse facility, about less than a mile away from Highway 40. Now if you look at the radar signature from the time that this video was recorded, which was 1240, you can see it was pretty tight, but it wasn't as tight as it was in Gartner. I'm going to let this video roll out, and as you can see, those clouds that are up there by that little clearing, you can see they are rapidly moving. It is on the ground. What is it? You can see the R you can see RP in the air. So who knows if we were right about it touching down again, because the National Weather Service never really did a survey there. They contained it to only around the Garner area. So now we're driving over to Highway 40 to see if we can get a clearing to see this. You can see multiple inches of rain have fell here because it is completely flooding the roads. And as we are crossing Highway 40, you can see the possible mesocyclone that was holding this tornado. As you can see that extreme lowering down there. It looks like that thing was definitely on the ground. And once we go back to Garner, you can see some of the damage this caused there. Something that was crazy was right where we parked on Timber Drive was a building made out of concrete and there was a stick that got missile launched into the concrete building. And then you can see these two trees crash onto the power lines causing this road to be blocked down. And then as we go along you can see the fence in the bottom right corner kind of got toppled over like kind of like straight line winds would do. And then as we move further this way, as you can see, there is a tree that got uprooted and slammed into this house. This was probably some of the most severe damage, but obviously this was still EF0 damage. So as you can see, this house got completely demolished. Luckily, everyone inside was okay, and there was no injuries from this tornado, which is a very, very lucky. Here are some more photos of the destruction that this caused. As you can see, many trees snapped, uprooted. The main thing with this tornado was just trees snapped and uprooted. We aren't all too sure what caused the F1 rating, but it must have been some type of structural damage. This is also probably my favorite video that we got from this tornado. It just shows yards and yards of trees being snapped and uprooted in this forest. This is a very dense forest, and as you can see, like, Probably like 20% of the trees in this are just now gone. Now I do want to play this video back because I actually didn't see this, but this house also got sliced in half by a tree being snapped on it. As you can see in the bottom left corner, there is a house that got another tree snapped on. That seems to have been the common theme of this tornado was multiple trees being snapped and sliced onto houses, but luckily no one was injured and the EF1 damage, I have not been able to find any pictures of that online or anything like that. So if you do know anything about this, be sure to tell me. 
But that is really all. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little video on the Garner EF1. Until the next big blizzard or storm that hits North Carolina.